Welcome back to our channel, Hume's Little Homestead. is from my friend from college. Let me grab a knife. You guys can talk to the camera if you want. How was Christmas? Christmas was best. I got my very own Switch game. Who owned it? I saw this a hundred years ago. Emmett loves his bottle. I got a phone cap. Emmett loves his bottle. So don't ever try to get this one. We do have a little bit of sickness in the house, unfortunately. We've got some fevers and coughing. You don't have to cough to prove it, Levi. But we were all fine and dandy until Christmas Day. That's when Haley came down with it first. All right. We're gonna see what's in here. Ooh. Okay, guys. Take it away. Okay. I made it explode in his bottle. Ooh. Wow. I made it explode in his bottle. Look how pretty. Look at my stuff. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Look at that beautiful tree. Coloring book, I think. Coloring book. And new colored pencil. And here, here's, here's coloring book. And a game. You guys love this game. Yeah. It's the um, mini, is it Connect 4? Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Levi yeah. has one of those tiny ones. I think this one's a little bigger. This one's perfect. No, that was the black one. All right. Well, thank you so much. We're gonna take in a minute. <coughs> thank you, thank you. Now the thank next you. one we're gonna open. Look at how pretty these rocks are. The crystal. <laughs> this is a necklace. That's so pretty. And there's a perfect round ball. And look at these. Is it a heart? I think so. Mm -hmm. Another heart. I think you can put water in this. I want to wear this. That's so pretty. box. I know what's in the next box and I am really excited about it. We... Don't tell us. What's in the next box? Well, don't tell us. Oh, you don't want to know? No. Yeah. Okay, we'll open it and then I'll explain how we got this next package. 
But thank you so much. I'm not sure if, this is my friend from college. I'm not sure if she wants me to mention her name on the YouTube channel. So I will be messaging her privately. But we are so grateful. Thank you so, so much. She had messaged me about our miscarriages and was talking to me about some healing stones. So I'm going to have to message her and ask what each of these rocks means. But uh, what a sweet gift. We are so grateful. Thank you so much. Yes, we can. But we have to clear everything off so we can open the next package. Okay. The next package. Oh, I'm so excited for it. Okay. I'm going to open it and see if the kids can guess what it is. I highly doubt they'll know what it is. Hey, then we can't see you. Hop up here. This is too big and you can't see your face. We're all a little squished together. I'm going to nail that. I'm gonna show this and see if you guys can guess. The chicken door. Oh yeah, chicken door. Ah, they guessed. So the chicken's on the back, mom. Is there and a chicken on the back? Oh no. my goodness. And it also says chicken. Runchicken.com. Yes, isn't that so exciting? So we are friends with Walker Farm Fam. Can't see you, buddy. And we want the oh, chicken door. <laughs> We are friends with Walker Farm Fan, and they they have two channels, Catching Up with the Walkers and Walking. I can't speak right now. Walker Farm Fan and Catching Up with the Walkers, and I can't remember exactly which channel they gave the giveaway on, but they just said comment down below. Um, give me a run chicken door. I think that's what I was supposed to say. Yeah. it, don't yell. And I was like. Oh, I would really love that door. It's an automatic door that opens with the sun and closes at sunset because it's solar. I, I think it's solar. It, somehow it knows to close at night. So I've been excited and they they uh, messaged me on Instagram. I am really bad at Instagram. I am not good at that social media platform. And so I didn't even see the message. And on YouTube, they said, go check your inbox and Instagram. And so I went and checked and I was so excited. I said, thank you so much. And then um, they asked what color that we would want. And I said, I love the American flag, but any color is perfect because they're all really cool. And so, um, I don't know what color is in here, so it's let's it's open it up. Flag. Is it? Oh, I think it's the American flag. So let's open it up. Man, you guys are good at reading labels. <laughs> oh yeah, because it says, made for USA color American flag. Okay, let's open it up and look at it. Let me see how to open it so I don't. That's why I can't guess, guess flag. Yeah. Ah, you guys are smart. I don't want to break anything. I think I should do this. Okay. So Ryan's going to help me set this up for our chickens. And this is so cool. In June, on my birthday, June 28th, we had a predator attack. And I had forgot to close the chicken door. And if I had remembered to close the chicken door, we wouldn't have lost three chickens. We lost three chickens that night. And I was so sad and upset and our duck we had one duck left and her name was lucky ducky and because the she was the only one sitting on the ground yeah she sits on the ground and so anyway we lost lucky ducky that night and three they were younger chickens so they weren't roosting up high so those are the ones that got taken so um three others same kind um they jumped up when the predator did yeah, we had our. Uh, oh, open this. Let me get a sharper knife. But anyway, it was my fault for not shutting the chicken door that night because if I had, nothing would have got in. But Probably a batter. I didn't close it in. We did have a batter problem. I shot it. We, yeah. We, a lot of badgers. We, we think it was them. a dog because there was some stray dogs running around the neighborhood. Yeah, but it's still badgers. Are mean. Yeah, we and badgers are mean. really mean too. We and we have had them. And it stopped Mom. when the cow, when the dog bit the, when the dog.
Yeah. It got ran run over. Let me show you how it got run over. Ah, I've been so excited to do this video. <gasps> I knew it. Knew oh, it. it's so pretty. I'm so excited. Okay. Why can't I open this box? Just rip it. I don't want to rip it. This thing is so fun. There you go. Wow. Okay, so there's instructions here. Oh yeah. It oh, looks yeah. like. Cool, 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 cool. You Please read, do not use power tool because you will over tighten screws. <gasps> Look how mm, cute it is. Something bad. It's all something fun. No, something metal. So my eyes are tricking me. I think it's those screws that I dropped right there. So there's screws attached. Look how cute it is. I'm so excited. Okay, thank you so much, Walker Farm fam. And we're so surprised that we won the giveaway. And we're going to use this for our chickens. We are super excited. We wouldn't have won the giveaway because somebody... Oh, yeah. Someone else won first, but they didn't want it or something. They, they didn't answer their message or I don't know exactly how that works, but... We got second place, I guess. <laughs> and so we'll be setting this up very soon and we'll have a, a whole video on it so that anyone else who wants to purchase one of these run chickens can go to runchicken.com. And oh, the, I love the flag. Look how cute that is. I'll show it one more time. Okay, I cannot wait to put this on our chicken door. For now, we're going to go I have to go to the store and get some. This one my box. Oh, that's my pie pan. You want to show them? Mm -hmm. For Christmas, my mom gave me a deep dish pie pan. It's, it's really pretty. Cute. It's tempered chef, and it's kind of cool because at Thanksgiving I had made a video about our homemade pies, <coughs> and we ended up using disposable cake dishes. Anyway, look how pretty this pie pan is. Isn't that pretty? And this one makes a pie in it, we can just press it down on these. Yep, this is Pampered Chef, and we're gonna make our first pie in this is gonna be pumpkin pie. Uh huh. We're gonna my make thing. that very soon, so. Pumpkin that's what they wanted. They thing. didn't know what was in this box, apparently, but that was what I got for Christmas from my mom. Thanks, Mom. Okay, let's head out. We gotta go. Well, you guys are going to Grandma's so we don't yeah. spread our germs. I haven't caught any of the sickies, thankfully, but I need to get some things to help them with their noses. We have like a big supply of medicine, but we've, we're, we've gone through it, so I need to go grab some more at the store. We'll be back, because we are going to add one more thing to this video, I think. <coughs> we are back from the store, and today we are going to be making eggnog. Homemade eggnog. We were sitting at the dentist's office waiting for everybody to get their teeth cleaned the Wednesday before Christmas and we were flipping through, I think it was a Better Home and Garden magazine, like a holiday edition, and I had all these really fun recipes so I took a picture of it. <laughs> I don't know if that was very legal, but I'm going to share the recipe with you today. I wish I had the exact magazine, I do not. I was looking to see if I had taken a picture of the cover and I did not and I apologize about that, but I want to say it was like a holiday edition. Maybe I'll just go back to the dentist's office and see if they still have it. Okay, that would be kind of weird. But anyway, it's called white chocolate eggnog. It's like probably, you could probably find a recipe like this online. And yeah, if you hear the kids in the background, they are doing the laundry. So they are separating all of our laundry out so we can fold it because we've been slacking over Christmas break and they wanted some music on. So sounds like what they picked was a little bit intense. Ready? Yeah, Hi. see how slackers we are? That is lots of laundry. What music did you pick? Pokemon, 90 minutes of high battle music. Oh my, that's pretty intense. The ingredients for the white chocolate eggnog are eight fresh eggs, one half cup of sugar, one fourth teaspoon of salt, four cups of whole milk, one cup of half and half, Eight ounces of white chocolate. I used Ghirardelli baking chips. Vanilla. Ground nutmeg to taste. 
So let's get started making this eggnog. Step number one is you need to separate your eight eggs. I have the freshest eggs that my chickens have laid, so try and use the freshest eggs possible for this recipe. I got eggshell on my finger. <laughs> so I am separating the white into the mixing bowl and the yolk into the yellow bowl, which was funny because when I go to show you the yolks in the bowl, you can't even see them because they're almost exactly the same color as the bowl. So this is again, eight fresh eggs separated. Now I am going to Beat the egg whites on medium speed until stiff peaks form. And while that is going, we need to add some sugar to the egg yolks and some salt. It was one half a cup of sugar and one fourth of teaspoon of salt. And then you beat that for one minute. I just beat it with my hand, whisked it with my hand. Here's my stiff peaks. They look great. I like to See, make sure that it's a good stiff texture. Next, I'm still beating those egg yolks, I guess. <laughs> Next, we measure out eight ounces of white chocolate. I accidentally got 8.5, so then I took some out. And I measure out the milk and the half and half. Next, you need four cups of whole milk. It's really important to use whole milk. I know if you're dieting, that's not what you want, but it helps thicken it. So half and half is one cup. And then you're gonna put the milk in the half and half into a saucepan, and you're going to simmer this You on medium. You do not want it to boil, you just want it to simmer. So you continually whisk it while it's getting up to that temperature. I also pre-measured out the vanilla. Like I said, I have only imitation vanilla. And my motto is, use what you have. <laughs> the recipe called for real vanilla or vanilla bean. Okay, so our milk and half and half is simmering. So we're gonna take it off the heat. And I believe this is called tempering the eggs. I believe it's called tempering the eggs. So what we do is we take out a little bit of the hot milk. It's not boiling, you don't want your milk to boil. Simmering milk and you take it out and put it in, and while you're doing that, you beat these really fast and hard. This is the egg yolk, sugar, and salt. The reason we do it this way is you don't want to scramble your eggs. So you add the hot liquid into the eggs. Do not add the eggs into the hot liquid. into the saucepan the egg yolk mixed with the milk and you're going to again simmer it okay we've got it to a good texture here so now we're going to add in our chocolate chips wow mind blown we're gonna melt them yep mind blown Then we're gonna add in our vanilla. Mom, I think your phone's gonna get hot. Then back it up, please. Back the phone. Can you see the vanilla, sweetie? 
mind blown. The last step is to gently stir in the beaten egg whites. So here's our beaten egg whites. I'm going to gently stir them in there. So I'm going to use a wooden spoon for this. Is it? What is that stuff? Egg whites. Ooh, mixed with what? Just, just egg whites. Whoa, it looks like marshmallow. step is to gently ladle your eggnog into a pretty container. I like to put it in a glass container. You don't have to do this. I just like to do this when we make homemade eggnog. I use a little funnel and just a regular soup ladle. And here we go. off so it can cool and then I'll put it in the fridge to finish chilling but it looks delicious it is the perfect consistency and that foam will gather on top and it will be less foamy in each individual cup so it tastes really good too I had a little sneak taste you want to come taste some of it Kaden yeah. Kaden loves eggnog have a taste and tell me how it turned out Mmm. Good? Mm-hmm. I think it's our best recipe that we've tried. Mmm. I think the last one was just a tiny bit better. We hope you enjoyed this video and this recipe. And if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. Mm-hmm. Happy New Year. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. We'll get on. We have another video planned for our 2021 in review. This was our first year to join YouTube as a family, so... We're pretty excited. It's been a good year, and we're grateful for all who have joined in with us. Mm -hmm. And on Friday, we get to stay up way later than we usually stay up and yell, Happy New Year! Yep, it's going to be so fun. Okay, mm -hmm. bye. Thanks for watching. Yep. We're tasting the egg now. now. Cheers! It's good, huh? Mm hmm. <laughs> Levi, you want to taste yours? Here. Tell them what you think. Emmett likes it. Mm. Somebody's got a milk. An egg. Mm. Now, stash. Mmm.